drought friendly gardening gardens in general really not gardening drought friendly gardens with the onset of this summer you know what the summer was like it was brutal especially as it went on quite late as well which was really lovely it was really nice to have such a warm summer but it was very warm <laughs> it was very warm even for me and i do like a warm summer so this summer um the way the climate is looking at the moment and the way it's looking to change over the years over the coming years it's very important to look at how we can change our gardens to suit the environment not saying i'm um, stuck in the way of each season should start at a certain time and go on for a certain period and this is the weather we get in this season and la 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 we need to be more flexible and be more fluid with it and see what's coming and then understand how we can change so this summer proved a point that it's that it the climate is changing no matter what way you dress it up it is changing and it's going to change because that's nature that's the way of the world unfortunately um so things do change so it's really important to stay quite fluid with it gardening like this will naturally reduce the stress on your plants the um reduce the stress on the insects living on the garden and it will reduce the stress on your soil so managing the water stored in the soil um it can help to manage how much water your plants need to take up as well so it's really good to be quite fluid and understand how the environment is changing and the weather is changing to plant your garden up accordingly, effectively, or grow your garden accordingly, or manage your garden accordingly, any of the above. So this trend of growing drought friendly plants or plants that can tolerate drought much better than they can tolerate overwatering, not so much the desert plants, if you're thinking about like Mediterranean plants, um, silvery leaves, quite fine, like lavenders and rosemaries, that kind of thing. But they will come into this category as well. You can get some really nice green, lush looking plants that um, tolerate drought just fine. So sedums, geraniums and pelagoniums, osteospernums, they're really good. And these can all tolerate drought <laughs> while looking very bright and green and cheerful. If you've seen an osteospernum, you can see the array of colours that they can come in. You can have some, a really bright and cheerful garden that can tolerate like no water for weeks. Absolutely fine. Geraniums are very, um, so pelagoniums are very, um, can be very bright colours as well, really good flowers on them. And um, they would tolerate bone dry environments quite happily. So these, just these, sorry, three or four plants that I mentioned there can really bring some colour to your garden without needing any kind of watering or anything, really. They're very tolerant of drought and they will tolerate drought much better than they can tolerate being overwatered. And so they really don't like being overwatered. So you get some really good colour with these as well. You can also include lavender as well, and you can include rosemary. And we know that rosemary creates a really nice small blue flower, which looks lovely, can create a really nice shrub. So, you know, there's all sorts of different plants you can plant in your garden that will tolerate drought. So this trend has the power to save you a lot of money on your water bill, which we know is one of the killers at the moment with the price of everything. Um, so it can save you a lot of money on your water bill um, if you water fire those by that is. If you obviously save rainwater, that's all the better as well. That can save you even more money on your water bill. After last summer, we completely ran out of our four water butts that I've got and bins of water that I had completely emptied. <laughs> so I had to go to the hose pipe in the end and then we had a hose pipe van. So then I couldn't even use the hose pipe. So this would have been really helpful having some more drought resistant plants in the garden. It was, would have really helped. So this trend power has the power to save you a lot of money on your water bill if you water by the hose pipe. It can also save you a lot of effort in the garden. So it can be extremely low maintenance as well, which is really good. They need little care and can be left to it basically quite happily. All you need to do is deadhead them every now and then and then um, a little bit of maintenance. But basically they can be left to it.